Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Right beside me, I'm really excited because we have a 2023 Leisure Wonder. This is the 24 RTB model. That's rear twin bed. It's on a Ford Transit chassis. It's on the 350 cutaway chassis. 3.5 liter turbocharged six cylinder engine. This has got a lot going on for it on the outside, even more on the inside. Let's have a look around the outside before we go on the inside. Now, one thing I can tell you about the difference between the way Leisure builds their vans and the way everybody else builds their vans. Now, this isn't built on a standard passenger van chassis. What they do, it's a cutaway chassis. This is a Ford Transit. So they get the Ford Transit chassis in this part. They're building everything else behind that custom built to their specs. So it is aluminum welded frame. It's got two pound polystyrene foam insulation and it's vacuum bonded walls, floors, and ceiling roof structure. So all four sides of the unit are very weather tight, quiet. I might uh, probably the most quiet unit on the road, not only because they're vacuum bonded, but there's also foam up under the undercarriage on the underside. So if it's getting stones kicked up under there, it's a lot quieter than what it normally would be in another travel van. Leisure's known for quality. They're really uh, the top of the list when it comes to quality. I want one of these myself, and I personally love this floor plan. Now we're in a rear twin bed floor plan. That means we've got a huge garage space back here. So if you're into the outdoors, biking, golfing, hiking, where you wanna carry some extra luggage along, this is the ticket, because this is gonna have more outdoor storage than the other options out there, including in the leisure uh, travel van line. So open up the door here. Notice we have a nice courtesy light up here. Also, notice how stylish we transition from the chassis into the fiberglass portion of the rest of the coach. So we have a nice courtesy light up here. Beautiful 12 foot long awning up on top here. Obviously, it's got a LED light on it. We can extend that out. Now, storage is precious on all small travel vans like this. Technically, this is a Class C because it's a cutaway chassis. A lot of times when you say Class C, you think of the cab over bunk area, but this is a Ford Transit cutaway chassis, so technically it is a Class C. And yet, there's not a ton of storage on any of your travel vans. I like that Leisure takes advantage of every little nook and cranny for storage. So really heavy duty doors down here. You've got these struts that hold the door open. Got a nice little storage compartment and it's got carpet all the way around so stuff isn't rattling around there and getting scratched. Coming over here, we have our vent for our refrigerator, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. Now we have our 4K Onan generator here. This is enough to handle the 15K air conditioner, the heat pump, all the power needs on this coach can be supplied right here when you're dry camping. Right here's a propane quick connect. So if you wanna have a little griddle or a grill out here on the patio side, the fun side, as I like to say, you can do that. Now we do have 120, um, GFI protected outlet right here on the patio side again. So if you want to have a coffee maker or a blender, maybe an electric griddle out here, you can. These two brackets are for a table, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Now this is Euro Sport paint scheme. This is a full body paint scheme. Um, there's multiple options for full body paint schemes, but for reference, this is the Euro Sport. I love it. It's very classy, very flashy. Now, boom, here's what makes this so special, this rear twin bed, because of the way the interior is designed, we get what I call a garage, <laughs> okay? So check this out. Two gas struts here keep this door open for us and an abundance of storage under here. So golf clubs, bicycles, you name it, you can store it back there. Heck, I think there's room for me to get back here. So check this out. A human being could even be in here. Put a bed in here, I'm happy. There's a lot of room in this thing. And if you've got heavier items, so my wife and I have these little bag bikes. I call them bag bikes because they fit into a bag. They're collapsible bikes. I should have brought them with me. Two of those would easily fit in here, but check this out. Release this 
and you can pull it out here, get a hold of those heavier items, drop them down on the ground, not break your back and have to get in there and wrestle around. I really, really appreciate that. Obviously, you can see there's a light in here. This is a cool feature too. There's a little 12 volt uh, port right here. So let's say you have an electric scooter or mobility or something like that. You can charge it right from that charging point port inside your garage where it stays safe and out of the weather. You got some little elastic uh, keepers right here for some gear. So goodness gracious, I'm thinking two bicycles, golf clubs, and a lot of other stuff. Now here's this table. You can also see the ladder up there on the side. So that ladder will fit on the back of the coach to give you access to the top of the coach. Here's a little table that will fit on, the, on our patio side. So let me pop that out and show you how that works. So here we have a nice baked enamel table for our patio side. Remember under the awning here and also convenient to our power source. So again, if you want to have a blender, coffee maker, griddle, whatever, it can rest right on this. Pop these legs away, put it in that little uh, tray in the storage compartment and off you go. All right, a little bit on the other side, what I call the utility side before we go inside and have even more fun. Follow me. Now we're on the driver's side of this coach. We have collapsible mirrors on either side. Just pop them in. That way somebody's not gonna come along and knock them off and you're, if you're in a tight parking situation. They are heated too, so if you have a little frost or fog on them, turn that switch on. Both mirrors are heated. Now this is a neat security feature on the driver's side door. If we open our door here, you can see this is where our fueling location is. So you can only open that up if the door is open. When you close the door, you secure that fuel door so nobody's gonna come along and get into your fuel um, when you're not looking. It automatically locks it by virtue of just closing the door. Now we do have a key fob, just like fancy cars these days that'll automatically lock and unlock the coach. And there's really only two keys to this. I've actually got a physical key in there too, but all the conveniences that you've come to expect from high end SUVs and cars are now showing up on units like this. Now, this particular unit was ordered with optioned up on some safety features, and I'll go over those in a minute. But a lot of the things that you expect, like adaptive cruise control, are going to show up on this unit. But to continue on our outside tour, we have our Truma AquaGo water heater. This is by far the nicest and best quality water heater out on the out of the market now. now this is great because it's got a one liter you can see it right here a one liter reservoir there so that's keeping that water warm hot even so that once you want hot water at your shower location bathroom kitchen sink it's instantly hot and continuous hot trim is a great product they have their own app everybody has their own app big fan of those furnace vent right here and then down below we have our utility compartment so very clean this is everything you need to do to hook this unit up all in one convenient place nicely lighted with an led light here's our propane fill over here we have our black tank flush right next to it of course you're going to undo this put a garden hose on here Make sure your black tank valve is open and attach that to your waste outlet and then let it run in there. It does a great job of keeping your black tank clean. Do it once a month, maybe at the end of every trip. Have our cable and satellite hookups here. I can shut off my propane remotely, which is a real handy thing to have right here. Now, if I come out here and I'm gonna do some maintenance and I forgot to turn my water pump on or off, I can do it right here. Here's our main water connection. And then we have an outdoor shower here, hot and cold with a quick connect hose right here. And of course, select this uh, water supply, whether you're on city water or drawing from the tank. Now, this is one thing I really love that Leisure does. They give you, get, get this out of here. They give you this extra hose so that if you need to draw water, clear, clean water into your holding tank, you can drop this in there, 
turn on your water pump and this is going to pull that water into your tank. You, can, you notice a little bit of antifreeze just came out of there. You do the same thing when you're pulling antifreeze through the lines. It's already plumbed in there. It's ready to go. You just need to drop it into an antifreeze bottle or a fresh water bottle, whatever your procedure is. Personally, I'd probably put a little cap on there just to keep it extra clean because otherwise it's just riding in here all the time. Most people just keep it tucked up under there, which is perfectly fine. There is a little port right here where you can route your water up through here and connect it and then close this door uh, to keep this all closed from critters and everything. Now, speaking of closing the door, check this out soft close all the way around. All these baggage doors are soft close. So you're not slamming those doors, waking up your neighbors if you're checking in late at a campground. You know, you get, you get in a hurry and you let that thing go, boom, it closes really soft. You can lock all of these too for security. I really like that. And double locks in some cases. Another little storage compartment. Uh, can never have too much storage. Nice little storage compartment there. We can tell that we have power with this little blue light. I love this. It's the simple thing sometimes. Say you're troubleshooting a power issue at your campsite. There's no power inside. The battery's not charging. Whatever. Come out here and look. If you see a little blue light, we know we have power getting to this point of the coach. So anyway, it's great. It's a 30 amp coach and I appreciate that that is on there. Now, other side of our garage storage. <laughs> We have ordered this one with the lithium upgrade and the lithium batteries are inside here. Now, in addition to lots of benefits of lithium batteries, that means that the microwave inside is inverted. So you can actually run the microwave even if you have no shore power with the lithium upgrade. So tons of storage in here. I just love, love, love this. And uh, really adds to the, the amount of stuff you can take. So we're, we're in, a less than 25 foot footprint here, 24 feet, nine inches. So we're less than 10 feet high, less than 25 feet long. So very maneuverable, uh, easy to get in pretty much any place that you wanna camp in terms of size. No slide outs on either side, and yet it's very spacious on the inside, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. Before we go inside, I'm gonna point out a couple things on the back of the coach. Now in the back, you can see we have a one piece molded fiberglass rear cap course automotive style and we've got an integrated camera up on top coming down here we have a hitch now this is a 2,000 pound rated hitch 200 pound tongue weight rating and the reason this is a 2,000 pound hitch is because the way the coach is designed we've got an elevated rear bedroom basically with those two twin beds so instead of a 4,000 pound hitch, we have a 2,000 pound hitch here. Um, you could pull a small utility trailer, a golf cart perhaps, and certainly put a luggage rack or a bike rack in here. So if you don't wanna take up that valuable storage area inside your garage here with bicycles, put a bike rack back there or any kind of cargo carrier, and that'll really open up this space for even more, <laughs> more stuff you can put in there. All right. Let's even have more fun by going inside and checking it out on the inside. Now we're on the inside of this Leisure Wonder 24 RTB. This has got one of the largest galleries in the whole Leisure uh, Wonder line of products. And even though we have no slide outs, there's a lot of room in here. So I've got seating for two folks comfortably to have converse across from here. Lots of counter space here, area up here. Now I wanna talk just a second about the multiplex system right here. It's a touchpad system where you control all the functions of the unit. Our lighting, all of our lighting can be controlled right here. Our monitor, our power consumption and so on with our solar. Now in this case, we have 400 watts of solar up on the roof, but in any case, control all of your power. Now your, your thermostat, your climate control right here. And then this little gear motor um, is going to give you some, also some diagnostics and various other settings on this unit. And you can put this app on your phone and control all these functions from your phone. Nice little cubbies for storage up here. Um, one change moving into 2023 is that we don't have puck lights up in the ceiling. It's indirect 
diffused lighting. These are all, of course, LED lighting. So it makes for consistent lighting throughout the whole coach, not hot spots, if you will, of bright areas here and there. It's really equal lighting throughout the whole coach and they are dimmable too so that's cool if you're in the evening you want to bring down the lights a little bit you can do that so um, in the galley area here i have a two burner ignition cooktop gas cooktop of course pop this up and it becomes our backsplash now even though i've got a decent amount of counter space here if you want more counter space look at what we have here i can drop this down there's a little catch here this is Corian countertop. Now I've got even more prep space by dropping that down. I love that feature. That is really fantastic. Curved cabinetry all the way around. There's a little release under here. So just press in and we've got adjustable European hinges all the way across there. We've got our, our optical uh, drive Sony entertainment up here. And then while I'm up here, I'll show you. There's a little access panel. Just pull this out. It's got Velcro on it. And it's labeled entertainment receptacle. So what I can do with this, I can be watching um, over the air free programming on this television. And maybe you want to be watching something from satellite dish on the back one. And you can control that here. We've got our satellite connections up here. You can put other uh, components up in this area if you choose and then hide it away by just popping this up in here like that. Real handy, closes that off, and you still have this little storage cubby up on top. Now, in the galley area, I've got a sink cover here, chrome faucet, nice little area for storage for spices up here, and a little rack right here. Pop this out, now what do I do with it? I love that they thought about that. <laughs> There's a little recessed area right here where I can pop that in there for storage hang some uh, dish rags or towels right under here, and then full extension drawers, drawer glides all the way around with little compartments in here for your silverware and so on. Everything in a leisure van is done deliberately, uh, not by accident. Obviously they've put a lot of thought into this. Nice uh, backsplash area back here. I mean, there's just so many details all the way around. Of course, we have our TV with its own little sound bar up here. And then we have inverted power throughout the coach. So again, we have the lithium battery upgrade. If you want to stop on the side of the road and warm something up, you can do that with this convection microwave. Now, again, if you have the standard AGM batteries, this is not inverted. If you have the lithium battery upgrade, it is. So I can, can run this even though I'm on the side of the road with no extra shore power. While I'm here, let's talk about this refrigerator. So, love this design. It's, this is a three-way refrigerator. So it runs off 120, it runs off 12 volts, and it runs off propane. Three different power sources to keep this guy happy. So no matter what your situation is, you can keep the refrigerator and the freezer going. So simply open it up by releasing that, your refrigerator and your freezer compartment on the top. It's not huge, but it's pretty decent size for a sub 25 foot coach like this. Now, if I'm on this side of it, like I am right now, boom, guess what I can do? I can open it up this way too. How cool is that? So no matter on which side of the unit you are, these doors open either way. That's the little things that impress me. That's pretty cool. Now, under here, I always say, where does the trash can go in every RV? Well, boom, they thought about it. Right here it is. So, great place for the trash can. Super easy access to your, your water pump right there. So, if you ever need access for any reason, super easy to get to it right there. Um, now, when you come into the coach, um, and again, I always think about things when I'm, since I've been RVing for going on 30 years, where does the trash can go and where do the shoes or flip-flops go? Because both of them, trash and shoes, are going to go somewhere. We've already figured out where our trash goes. Shoes, I've got a cubby right under here. You can toss your shoes under there. And while you can't see it, right in front of my feet down here, this whole space is, un is open. I can throw shoes and flip-flops or whatever under there and not be out here and having people trip over them, right? So 
pretty cool. Now, before I leave this area, I want to point out that yes, we have our twin beds in the back. So two folks can sleep back there. This area up here actually converts into a bed as well. How do you do it? Not complicated at all, but first thing we need to do is remove the cushions and then these things pop down, right? So remove the cushions from either side. So I'll just pop this side down like so. Lower this side down. Place our cushions back up here. All right, we add our third cushion, which lives under the bed up front. Now we have a nice bed up here. Now I'm six feet tall. Plenty of room for me to sleep here. Plenty of room. I could be six, five, six, eight and sleep up here. Now on this model, we ordered it with the optional uh, inflatable mattress that actually goes across the front seats. So you can actually sleep yet another person up here. Me, maybe not. If you're six feet tall, I'm not sure you could sleep up there, but a child could, teenager perhaps could sleep up there. It's an option and we have that with this unit. But at the very least, this is really fantastic and, and quite comfortable. Now, we even have a table that will fit in here, which will give us not only a workspace, but also an eating space. It's a snap to set up. Once I get the leg assembly put together, pull out our table, pop this into the little receiver. Now, unfold the hinged top like so, and now I can move this wherever I like it to be. So it can be over here. Maybe it's like this for eating dinner. It's like this for a workspace. If I need to get up and have access to the fridge, I can do that. I can fold away one of these or both of these and have it just like this. Maybe a, a little computer workstation here or over on the other side. Now the cool thing is, is you can take this whole assembly and do the same thing in the back between the two twin beds. So if you wanna be on your laptop or be playing cards or something like that back there, we do the same drill, just pop this into the receiver between the beds in the back and you're off to the races, okay? Now, before I leave this area, I gotta point, there's so many things to point out in this coach. So above the entry door here, you can see our solar charge controller is up here, our Truma AquaGo control, and then our battery heat. So lithium batteries don't like the cold. They especially don't like to be charged. In fact, they won't charge when you get below about 36-ish degrees Fahrenheit. Pop that on and they have an internal heating uh, capacity down there so you can keep those batteries uh, happy. And then your inverter. So all that can be monitored and keep an eye on it up here in this little utility area. Now for privacy, I do have a complete blackout shade here for the entry door. Got a couple hooks here for my jacket when I come in from outside. And then our multiplex controls here for our lighting, porch lights, and so on. Uh, what they call the salesman switch to turn off all the 12 volt power to the coach. And then look at this, look how classy this is just to have this on at night for a little night light behind the grab bar. Um, and then the awning switch is right inside the door up here to extend the awning so you can open up the passenger side door, extend the awning, turn the light on and off from that location. All right, now pantry storage. How about this? Unlock this. How about that? Lots of room in here for canned goods, bread, what have you in here. Those extra Gatorade bottles, really nice pantry storage. Again, can never have too much storage in that. Now, follow me back into the secondary living area. Now, many times in a small van like this, you don't have more than one living space. It's just one area all together. Here we have two distinct areas. You got your front galley living area even and then a back bedroom, completely separate. Something else that's unique about this is it's not a wet bath. A lot of uh, travel vans these days have wet baths. You're doing everything in that one little space. You're sitting on the toilet and taking a shower and doing everything you do in a bathroom in that one space. Here, I have a shower and I have a traditional bath 
and I can close off completely like this. Complete privacy. So one member of the couple can be back here, have access to all the bathroom and the bedroom, close off completely for privacy, pop that in like that. So that's really great. Now, speaking of our bath area, nice big curved door, which does a couple things. It looks nice aesthetically, but it gives you a little more elbow room when you're in here. Now for a sub 25 foot unit, there's a lot of room in here, really. So I've got a little area up here for toothbrushes and so on, a little sink cover here. Now, again, everything's deliberate with leisure. What do I do with this? There's a little, compartment right there it goes great perfect a little bit of storage under here now what about this people can look in and see me not cool right actually release this down here boom and I have a mirror on this side and it blocks out light and gives you complete privacy and you still have your mirror pop that back get my light back and I still have a mirror on this side also has some nice storage overhead up on top here I also have a powered fan above there, so there's no moisture in here. Getting the moisture, getting the smells out of here. Now this do does have a macerator on it. This is a porcelain toilet. It does have a macerator on it, and that makes evacuating the tanks a breeze. Um, okay, so let's go over and look at the shower. Okay, now moving back into the bedroom area, I have another multiplex here on the wall so I can control lighting and everything. You're never more than an arm's length away from controlling lighting and everything. And you can see this little guy right here. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know this is, of course, a grenade launcher, right? Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> no, it's called a thermistor. It's sampling the air temperature and sending it up to your HVAC system to maintain consistent temperature. So I already showed, out, showed off the bathroom here. Nice curved door. Open this shower door. And again, it's got a little catch up here. Pop that on there and it stays closed. Complete privacy. So now I have a complete separate bedroom bath area private from the rest of the coach. Now, I do have a light switch in here, which I'll turn on. Hopefully this won't mess with the camera too bad. Check this out. There's a little towel rack so you can hang wet swimming suits or whatever up there. There is a skylight up there. Now I'm six feet tall and I'm standing straight up inside here in what is a travel van. This is not a big class A motorhome. Plenty of room in here for me to do what I need to do. Check this out. This thing pulls closed and it's got a wiper built in so it's constantly squeegeeing. Is that a word? Squeegeeing this door as you move it in and out. I would probably still wipe it down personally when I was done just to get the moisture off, probably keep cleaner longer. But anyway, in a pretty admirable amount of room for a small sub 25 foot coach like this. There's a little light under here, courtesy light. So if you're coming up here, just reminder that you do have a couple steps up. Now, most leisure travel vans that don't have this lofted rear twin bed floor plan, it's flat from the front to the back, no steps at all. But obviously we have our garage space back there, so we need to make some provisions for that. Leisure did to have these two twin beds and uh, really makes for a nice sleeping area and a flexible area. If you don't like twin beds, you can have one big bed. So let me show you the bedroom area. So come on back here and check this out. We have two twin beds here. Again, I'm six feet tall, so plenty of room for me to stretch out completely. There's a TV right there so I can be watching my favorite movie uh, in the bed. And this is padded up here. It's a padded headboard. So I can do this and lounge up here. Somebody could be watching different programming up front. I can be here lounging. MCD roller shades all the way around on this. And there's these little keepers. So they're soft clothes, right? But instead of hanging out like this and letting extra light in, there's these little keepers on either side that keep the shade tucked in right against the wall and keeps it completely blacked out. My wife would love that. I have to have totally black in here when we're sleeping, so that would be great. Little extra cubby up here for reading material, maybe a bottle of water. Also up here with more nice diffused lighting. Check out this nice big cabinet up here. 
So again, we have our European hinges everywhere and power up there as well. Now, where's the clothes go, right? You may ask. Under each bed, lift this up. It's got these latches that'll hold this up. Check this out. This is actually a closet down here, okay? Here's your closet rod. I can hang my clothes in there, shoes down there. There's a little shelf. There's more storage over there. So you can actually hang your clothes down there. So remember, we've got this big garage under us here. So instead of having a traditional closet up here, lots of clothes hanging storage over there. That's our Xantrix inverter, by the way, living in that little compartment. Over here, same drill. Lift this up, hanging our clothes Little shelf there, extra compartment on the other side. I should have brought some hanging clothes just to show you guys how, but you know, you can hang a full shirt, even a pair of slacks down in there and they can hang straight down. That's really handy. Now, if you have this door closed and you wanna access that area, you can do that opening these doors like so on either, either side. Now, in order to release this, oh, now I'll point out that bag down there is the inflatable mattress that goes up over the seats in front for that fourth small sleeping position. Just pop this up all the way and it'll release it to come down. Same on this side. Now, you notice there's a little ledge right here. What's that for? So let's say you wanna make this into one big bed instead of twin beds like this. Pretty simple to do. This piece here is just gonna hinge down. So just lift up a mattress Pull this down, like so. Pop it on here, boom. Now I have one big single bed in here. There is a little bit of space on either side, but that's cool. Just lay some, some reading material, whatever, down there. But I have one big bed. It's super easy to do if you don't like the twin bed drill and you'd rather have one big bed, you can do it. Heck, you can almost sleep this way. Yeah, maybe not quite for a six footer, but almost. But bottom line, you can convert it into one single bed instead of two. If I didn't mention, this is a 15K AC unit. It does have a heat pump as well. Love that. Here's a cool feature. Each one of these seats swivel around so you can expand your living area up here. You're not just losing all this cab area. You actually expand your living area up into the cab. It's a little tricky to do and it's cozy. I had to open up this door, spin the seat around, close the door back, no big deal. But each one of them will spin around. Now I've got even more room, perfect viewing angle for that TV or if you have two couples or a couple kids or whatever up here so showing off the cockpit here this is again a ford transit chassis we are uh, 3.5 liter engine 10 speed variable transmission if you've been in a ford transit you'll recognize a lot of these features here but this has uh, got a lot of features that don't come stock a lot of safety features so sos system which is uh, save our ship but pre-collision post-collision it's got lane assist. It's got the automatic, what I call automatic cruise control, variable cruise control. So you're approaching someone and you'd always have to adjust by tapping the brakes. This has got smart cruise control. It's gonna see that vehicle in front of you, slow down and speed up and keep speed. But a lot, a lot of safety features that are going to come on this that really enhance the, the, uh, the well, the safety of the unit. See our entertainment system right here. If I go home, I have, of course I have GPS on here. I've got Apple uh, CarPlay, Android Auto. I've also got Sirius XM radio. Really nice display up here. Uh, really, really appreciate that. Um, it's also got the um, auto dimming high beam feature on this. One of my pet peeves is going down the road or the interstate. And that guy coming at me, he's got his brights on. Seems like one in every eight or nine people have their bright lights on. Well, you won't be a fender with this because it's gonna dim your lights automatically when you get past that traffic. It'll put your bright lights back on. 
It's a really great feature. I appreciate that. Got cup holders up here, got 12 volt USB charging locations. So um, other components that you have, maybe you have your own GPS and want to keep your cell phone charging, you can do that. There's also cup holders in the side and up here and up here. I've got more storage up here, including uh, a 12 volt charging location up here as well. So really fantastic amount of storage going down the, the road. I've got a great cubby for maps up here. I'm gr grabbing my, uh, my gas mileage uh, chart up here, write down how much gas I'm spending, <laughs> money I'm spending on my gas can go up here. So that's really handy to have that up there too. Can't have too much storage. Again, everything in a leisure is done deliberately. It's very, it's fun to drive too, I will say. This handle's great. It's really fun to drive unit. So again, we are in a 24 RTB rear twin bed unit. Fantastic little unit. This is great for couples. Maybe you've got a kid or two. Heck, two couples could even uh, travel in this in style. Be comfortable. Above all, you're gonna know that you're in a good quality coach. I've owned about a dozen RVs or more in my life, kind of lost count actually. I can just feel the fit and finish in this coach when I come in here. Everything is designed with a purpose. You're probably tired of hearing me say that. But after you've done this for a while, things like the refrigerator opening from either side makes a difference. Having a place to kick your shoes off makes a difference. Having a well-designed storage area in the back, a garage, makes a difference pantry storage all this together in a unit that's less than 25 feet long that's not terrible folks so hey as always i appreciate you joining me i always appreciate when you drop comments and questions below we'll do our best to get to those my name is mike here at vaud rv if you've got suggestions for other videos you'd like to see let us know and we'll do our best to get to those as always while you're down there click like and subscribe that way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this one until next time have fun enjoy camping see you next time thanks for watching our video if you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.